Hey guys, it's Colby here, and let's finish the fight, your main hub for the latest Halo news. This time in our lore series, we'll be going over the man currently in charge of the Spirit of Fire, Captain Cutter. On the surface, Captain Cutter is just the captain of the Spirit of Fire, but he's also a crucial character to the plot of Halo Wars, and a selectable leader to play in its multiplayer's UNSC faction. And we were first introduced to Captain Cutter during his monologue voiceover in the game's opening cutscene, where he describes the UNSC's tedious and costly effort to carry out the Harvest Campaign. James Gregory Cutter, informally called Jim, was born on Reach on June 12, 2479, six years after the Spirit of Fire was constructed for humanity's colonization efforts. Before he joined the UNSC, he gained respect for standing up to insurrectionists in the Epsilon India system. He joined the UNSC School of the North Star, and by 2507 was serving as a lieutenant and junior navigation officer aboard the UNSC Brilliant Shores. He would be transferred to and aboard the UNSC Final Summit in 2514. He was promoted again to commander aboard the UNSC Glasgow in 2519, and captain of the recently refitted Spirit of Fire in 2520. In a stroke of fortune, he turned down the command of the Marathon-class heavy cruiser, the UNSC Prophecy, which is thought to have been a good decision that saved his life. For 18 years, Cutter served the UNSC in its struggle to suppress and quell the rebellious insurrectionists as its forces struck targets all across the outer colonies. The escalated tension rising from the violence set the United Earth Government and the United Nations Space Command on edge, as the rapidly expanding influence of the insurrection began to completely sweep across the outer colonies, all but completely surrounding the inner colonies. This, however, was cut short in 2525, when far away from the fighting at hand, the outer colony of Harvest was attacked without mercy by the fanatical alliance of alien races, calling themselves a the Covenant. Harvest was lost in a brutal assault, and Oni began preparations to assemble the UNSC's response. As part of the Third Fleet, Cutter was given command of the refitted Spirit of Fire to serve as the hub of repairs, resupply, and tactical aid for Battlegroup D. By 2531, having long participated in Vice Admiral Preston Cole's Harvest campaign, Captain Cutter had already developed a close relationship with Serena, the Spirit of Fire's onboard smart AI. He was also, however, very suspicious of the presence of Professor Ellen Anders, given her very extensive background with the Office of Naval Intelligence. This even includes a developed, though negative, relationship with Dr. Catherine Halsey. In February 2531, Cutter recorded his five years of Hellog, and groundside operations to retake Harvest's Arctic region began. The Spirit of Fire assisted in the recapture and reconstruction of Alpha Base, and would later aid Sergeant John Forge and Professor Anders with heavy reinforcements when their attempt to secure the Forerunner relic went wrong. This included a pair of grizzly tanks. Following Anders' discovery of the true purpose of the relic, Cutter cleared a mission to Arcadia with Vice Admiral Cole. The Covenant invasion of the planet and the presence of Spartan Red Team on the surface prompted Cutter to intervene and assist in the evacuation of Arcadia City. Although Arcadia was widely unexplored and underdeveloped, Arcadia City was a major population zone, and UNSC groundside forces did all they could to aid in the evacuation effort. After having fallen back from the city, Cutter cleared Sergeant Forge's groundside forces to use plasma-based Rhino artillery tanks to disable a massive domed energy shield set up by the Covenant. The nulling of the shield revealed the Covenant's construction of a Super Scarab, which was swiftly eliminated by the UNSC forces. However, Professor Anders was captured by the Arbiter Ripar Morame. Sergeant Ford strongly urged Cutter to rescue Anders, and Jerome042 of Red Team pointed out that Anders' capture, given her history with Oni, represented a significant breach in security. Jerome also suggested that the fleeing Covenant ship be destroyed. However, Cutter ultimately gave the order to pursue Anders' signal. Cutter led the UNSC forces against insurmountable odds on Shield World 0459. Immediately, the UNSC forces were assaulted by the parasitic flood. Very quickly realizing the hostile nature of the creatures, they also realized that the Covenant were also fending off the flood as well. Of the Covenant forces on the planet, Serena pointed out a large concentration of brutes among the Covenant infantry, and also pointing out that their race was responsible for the attack on Harvest. After tedious combat against the Flood, the Spirit of Fire was pulled into the artificial gravity well of the world, descending into the planet's hollow interior. Since the Shield world was meant to protect against infestation by the Flood, the Spirit of Fire encountered many autonomous alien constructs called Sentinels, and a variety of defensive measures to eliminate the Flood. The Sentinels would continue to harass UNSC forces during the Battle of Shield World 0459. After sending Forge to rescue Anders, the crew of the Spirit of Fire agreed to detonate the ship's slipspace drive in the core of the world's artificial sun. After the crew's escape and the preparation to enter cryosleep, Captain Cutter paid his respects to late Sergeant John Forge, who had sacrificed himself to ensure their escape. Cutter had a wife named Mary and a daughter born on Reach. He also had an illegitimate son named Daniel Clayton, with a woman on tribute. Clayton would later slander the memory of his father for his own purposes in 2558. 
He lied about the whereabouts of the Spirit of Fire in an attempt to lure Admiral Terence Hood into a trap, although this plot was foiled by the crew of the UNSC Infinity. Mary, Cutter's wife, firmly believed that her husband had either died honorably or gone missing in the line of duty when the Spirit of Fire disappeared from Arcadia. In 2558, Captain Cutter and the rest of the crew of the Spirit of Fire awoke from cryosleep above Installation 00, otherwise known as the Ark, where they would then encounter the relatively stable Covenant Remnant faction known as the Banished. Well, that about wraps things up. Did any of you like to play as Cutter in Halo Wars? Did you like his character and contribution to the story? Or do you have a suggestion for a future lore video? Let us know by leaving a comment down below. Also, if you liked this video, be sure to click that like button and subscribe for new information. If you didn't see our previous lore video, you can catch it in the description below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. But until then, make sure you finish the fight.